This year, I spent most of my summer in Florence, Italy on a study abroad trip with the University of Missouri Journalism School. Though I was able to visit and enjoy several other places abroad, I actually lived and stayed in Florence. I learned how it breathed and woke and how it rested, how it partied, how it worked. In the final week of my time here, I got to experience the Feast of St. John, or La Festa di San Giovanni, which is a local holiday honoring the city's patron Catholic saint, John the Baptist. This holiday is recognized in two other Italian cities, but each has its unique celebrations, and the city basically shuts down for it. Without further ado, an unofficial guide to St. John's Day, as told by me, an American college student. Step 1. Firstly, figure out when that sucker is being held, because that was the first battle I had on this day. I ran around the city center looking for this huge parade, only to find out that I had the wrong time. It's in the afternoon, by the way. Don't bother getting up early. Step 2. So you'll find the parade by finding several marching lines of brightly pantalooned men, along with some cavalry, some drummers, and an enormous bovine. Maybe don't be like me and run right down the middle of the parade. Step 3. This step is doomed to fail because there are far too many people to try to cut through any part of the city center. There are also pantalooned men on horses everywhere. Just accept your fate as part of the parade. You're a trapped spectator. Step 4. So the Calcio Storico is pretty much hardcore no rules extreme soccer that was invented way way back in the day. A bunch of sweaty dudes beat each other up for a ball and the crowd loves it, so I highly recommend going if you have the chance. Step 5. Unfortunately, tickets for this historical soccer match are in high demand and you have to get them the day they go on sale. Or you are just SOL, my friends. Step 6. Gelato is a must on every day in Italy. Don't kid yourself. This 30-minute fireworks display is the finale to St. John's Day, and getting a good seat is a must. If you can't get up high, try to find a seat near the river to avoid the crowds that will fill the streets. It's definitely worth seeing. And finally, step seven.